The performance of a self-priming pump can be impacted by vortexing in the sump. Using Gorman Rupp's priming tower, this can easily be demonstrated. Vortexing occurs when there is not sufficient minimum submergence of the suction pipe. To simulate this, we will lower the sump level by pumping water into a secondary storage tank. As the water moves towards the suction inlet, it begins to rotate, causing a depression in the surface. As the speed of the rotation increases, the middle of the depression is forced further below the surface, allowing air to enter the suction inlet. This will impede the pump's performance and may cause it to lose prime. A flare attached to the end of the suction line reduces the entrance velocity of the liquid and reduces the level required in the sump to prevent vortexing. The formation of a vortex can be avoided by adjusting the off level in the sump. All Gorman Rupp self-priming pump manuals include an easy-to-read chart that recommends the minimum submergence required to prevent a vortex from forming.